Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred day. You were sent to heal the conquering of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest, St. Vincent de Paul, with apostolic virtue, grant, we pray, that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord, my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. O oh, my God, for our wicked deeds are heaped up upon above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt. And for our wicked deeds, we have been delivered up. We and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in his holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude, our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus he has given us a new life, to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins, and has granted us a fence in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Blessed be God, who lives forever. Blessed be God, who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed be God, who lives forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Blessed be God who lives forever. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. Blessed be God who lives forever. <clears throat> In the land of my exile, I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed be God, who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days of gladness, and give him praise. Blessed be God, who lives forever. <coughs> Alleluia, 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 
Alleluia, Alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing for the journey neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning, our author is reflecting on God's house. We'll see how this is developing. Uh, we look in the first reading, we're continuing to hear, uh, uh, listen to Ezra. Uh, today, uh, Ezra chapter 9. Uh, we heard Ezra's powerful prayer before God. He's admitting the sinfulness of the people of Israel. And then he's thanking all, at the same time that God's delivering them. They have the house, the temple of the Lord. God has given them relief. God has brightened their eyes. Uh, and uh, they uh, seek uh, because they, they've sunk into a spiritual darkness the people of Israel, and then they were uh, scattered in the Babylonian exile. They lost everything. But now uh, God has given them good new life revealed in the house of God. And then in the, the, sec the gospel reading from St. Luke chapter 9, there's kind of a, a small little shift. I, I didn't even notice it until scripture scholars, scholars uh, write about this. The sending out of the twelve. Jesus sends them out into the villages and into the homes. There's a slight little shift. They still have God. They still have the, the temple, and that's good. But there's just a small little shift. Now God is reaching out. They come to the temple. Now there's a little bitty shift. God is reaching out through the 12 and curing the sick, uh, proclaiming the good news, it's just the slightest little shift as the story of a, a salvation unfolds. So the author concludes, we enter God's house, this church, this adoration chapel, uh, to adore God, uh, receive Jesus in this Holy Eucharist, and then we are sent out into different homes, into our homes, maybe schools, businesses, whatever it is that we'll share the good news of salvation to the world. Uh, a good example of this kind of work of discipleship, of being sent out, is the memorial. The Universal Church celebrates the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul. He's a popular saint. Uh, he was born in the year 1581, ordained a priest, serving a parish in France. He worked to improve the formation of priests and seminaries. He defended the poor, and the abandoned. He founded the congregation of the missions known as the Vincentians. I think there are almost like 3,500 of Vincentians religious today. He also founded the congregation of the Daughters of Charity. St. Vincent de Paul is the patron saint of charities, 
I think, isn't there a St. Vincent de Paul Society in Omaha? Yeah. Is there one? I, I don't know. Is in Parish too, isn't there? Oh, see? He's still, it's still active today. So St. Vincent de Paul, he's the patron saint of charities, the patron saint of hospitals and uh, prisoners. He died in Paris in the year 1660. So just an example of just one person going out from God's house and entering different homes and communities, bringing a message of hope, love, healing to the world in need. We still need it today. Uh, one author concludes and reflects on this whole image of God's house. We started with the, the temple of the Lord and now this beautiful house of, of the church. One author reflects on the readings today. He writes, From God's house to our homes. From God's house to our homes. God wants to dwell in our homes. It's a good morning to pray that God make our homes a place that he can dwell in. And maybe even go deeper. That God, he's looking to dwell, yes, in, in our homes, in our schools, in our grocery stores. Can you believe that? Everywhere. Businesses where we work. But especially uh, the house of our hearts. There, that's where he's looking to uh, dwell in. And that can happen. It'll happen this morning. We receive Holy Eucharist. And then we, uh, God dwells in this house and we can share. It's amazing, this uh, beautiful uh, gift of salvation that we receive, we share. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And together we stand, trusting in God's power to heal. Let us bring our needs before him with confidence. We pray for church leaders. May the Holy Spirit fortify them in the, their gospel mission. Let us pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for Father Mike Eckley. He's on retreat. He said let's, he's asking for our prayers. So we pray that it's, it's a good retreat for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those traveling the long road of grief, may they know Christ's presence and rest in the confidence that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all of us gathered here this morning, May we be strengthened by the sacraments to share Christ with others, maybe even in the homes, our homes this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all the dead and for the souls of all the war dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and just in the quietness of our hearts, own personal prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father this morning. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray our Mass intention this morning uh, is listed for Bill and Corey Cruzy. Let us pray to the Lord. God of mercy and power, hear our prayers and answer them according to, your ne to our needs. We ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy spirit. O God, who enables saints. 
St. Vincent de Paul to imitate what you celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the fe festival of St. Vincent de Paul you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayer. And so, with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of souls, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Georgia, Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, your blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, the Holy Eucharist, O oh Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent de Paul's example to imitate your son, Jesus, in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. We have three beautiful blessings that for each one will respond. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his loving mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance toward you and give you his eternal peace. 
Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.